Good morning. How are you doing? Trust you are doing great. Welcome to a brand new week. Praise God. Our topic for Open Heavens for today, 4th December 2023, is Build Intimacy with God. Our topic for today is Build Intimacy with God. Memory verse is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 20. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you. But rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. Praise the Lord. Our Bible reading for today is taken from Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. 38. Now it came to pass as they went, and they entered into a certain village. And a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet, and heard his word. But Martha was combated with about much serving. But Martha was cumbered about much seven, and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Be thou therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary had chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. A message for today reads, Intimacy with God should be your greatest heart's desire. The desire for power to work miracles must be secondary compared to the desire to be intimate with Him. Believe me honestly, if you focus on intimacy with God, signs and wonders will follow effortlessly. In Luke 10, 19-20, after Jesus had given His disciples authority over all the powers of the enemy, He told them not to rejoice in that fact, but rather that their names were written in heaven. God prefers for you to be close to Him than that you have power to do His work. In our Bible reading for today, when Jesus went to visit the two sisters, Martha was occupied with serving him while Mary sat at his feet, spending quality time with him. Martha thought she was doing the right thing and told Jesus to instruct her sister to join her. But he told her that Mary had done the one needful thing, which is to spend time at his feet. He said further, Mary had chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Someone can take a position in church away from you, or even deprive you of the opportunity to serve God in a particular area. But no one can take your intimacy with God away from you. That is what you should guide more than anything else. According to Jesus Christ himself, that is the one needful thing. When Jesus was on the cross in great pain, being mocked by people who hated him, he kept hanging on to life. When he no longer felt the presence of God, and at that point, even with all the pain, he cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatani, which means, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Matthew 27, 46-15 He bore all the pain and shame, but could not bear to be separated from God. Beloved, intimacy with God must be your priority, above all else. God desires to build intimacy with his children. He's seeking those who are worshiping in spirit and in truth. John 4, 24. And not just those who are seeking what they can get from him. The key point for today says, Intimacy with God must be to you as bread is to your lungs. Our Bible in one year is 2 Corinthians 5 to 9. Him for today is HCCG in 7. I am dying, O Lord. I am dying, O Lord. I have heard thy voice, and it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Refrain, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Praise the living Jesus. Wishing you a beautiful new week. Have a wonderful day. See you by God's grace tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen.